What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's up, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable MT and need to get 12 and 0 done, make sure to head up my second sponsor, Rose NBA, on Twitter for a quick, fast, and reliable purchase. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we are going to go over some market talk. We're going to do a little bit of ranting as well, because I have to. Um, before we get into the video, make sure to drop a like, drop a sub. Make sure to follow my Twitter if you need some MT. If you want to buy some MT, 20, $21 per 100k on Xbox. Every other website is 25 so hit me up. If we do have some PS4 in stock, let me know. Um, let's go over the market, man. That's my job. Market talk, letting you guys know what's good. So first off, let's start off with the new MJ Locker Code. That actually is the most embarrassing thing on this planet, okay? Oh my god, dude. What the freak are they doing? They they hyped up a locker code. They hyped up a, an MJ, right? They hyped up a freaking MJ for that long. That's a diamond and you don't you haven't even bro, it's not even guaranteed. I can't believe they hyped that up for that long. I'm honestly shocked. I think that's the most scummiest thing I've ever seen in 2K history. So if you guys don't know, they hyped up this, uh, whatever the hell it's called, whatever that set is called in rewards for mad long. Like, I'm talking mad, mad long, and it's not even guaranteed. So, I thought they are going to drop some fire content. Nah, they drop a locker code that isn't even guaranteed for a trash diamond MJ. I'm just heated. I don't even know what to say about that. That is pure scum, but whatever, man. Let's get into the video. Let's talk about the market because, honestly... I'm kind of, it's kind of sucks being negative towards the game because I do like the game. It's just stuff like that is just in question. Like you're talking about pretty much if the game first started, that's pretty much getting a gold player in a locker code. That's pretty much what it is. I don't know why this card keeps popping up, but okay. Let's get into the market. I'm going to say this straight out before we even get into the video. Sell your damn cards, bro. Don't even ask me who to sell. Just sell your cards. As you can see, my MT is up there. Um, I sold Mello. I sold everybody. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to cheese for 12-0. and 0. I was 4-0, and 0, and of course I lost. Whatever, I always lose at 4-0. Um, I sold Melo. I sold a ton of players. I sold all my Opals besides Ben and Giannis and KD. Um, everyone else has left the team. I had a lot of MT stashed. And honestly, I think it's not that hard to go 12-0. and 0. Some tips, obvious. Oh, my God, this Melo's over 495. Mine's over 420 last night. Damn. Um, some tips for you guys and also some stuff I was noticing the market last night if you guys want to buy cards I would always recommend buying cards at night. It's always better at night But I was noticing some things Um on 12 and 0 if you know how to run the 2-3 zone You might have a really good chance of going 12 and 0 I've noticed that if you know how to run the 2-3 zone effectively you honestly Could go off also you need a tall center if you're not running taco bowl bowl or minute you got to get one of them. If you all have 60k for Manute, you're doing something wrong. Because if you have Manute, he's taller than Taco and Bobo. That is the Taco and Bobo stopper. Obviously, if you have Kareem, that's cool too. But I'm just letting you guys know, you need those centers to win games. And you need to play a, a, an effective 2-3 zone to win. You got to spider monkey around and be a cheese. Also, bro, you got to start learning how to run plays. Supposedly, in my opinion, bro, plays are big, big. If you guys know... Uh, I would check out Bio2K's playbook, uh, the Hornets playbook. That playbook is money. I've been using it. Shout out to him. It's really good. But okay, let's get into the market. Like I said, man, sell your cards. What you should be doing right now, since there is no new content, like, I mean, there's nothing. On Thursday, I always expect some sort of packs to come out. So honestly, my opinion, I think we're going to get some fire, fire set tomorrow. That's what I think is going to come. If that does come, we're going to see a market crash. Because honestly, like I said, they're going to probably drop a minimum of two opals. A minimum of two opals is going to get me thinking. A minimum of two opals is going to make the community spend money and kind of crash the market. And obviously, buy MT. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go over all that. We're going to pretty much prepare you guys, I guess. 
but some methods I, I would say to get your MT up to stay prepared for tomorrow is obviously the Amethyst filter. It's been money for days. It's been great because the Jahil Okafor and all those players finally went up. So now the Amethyst filter is finally back and back, back ready to go. It's back in its prime. And honestly, it hasn't been, it's been so money. I've been sitting on this filter for a minute now. It has been absolutely just so, so, so money. So here you go, man. If you invested in Jahil, if you invested in Pat Shao, you're dubbing out, man. Congratulations. So now what you want to do is pretty much just set up your filter. These are, this is just my favorite filter to get your MT up, especially for budget ballers. This is the best filter in the game for budget ballers, at least. Um, definitely try it out. I've been doing it. Honestly, I'm not even a budget baller. I've been doing that. That's it. That's gone. Oh man, that's gone too. Oh, yo, this Isaac Bobby goes for 4k. So as you guys can see, this filter is straight cash. You just got to be quick. I am doing this through my OBS. So it's definitely a lot slower paced. Um, yeah, this filter is straight, straight money. I like doing my challenges on that filter. It's really good. But yeah, we're going to go into the diamond filter now. Um, with that new diamond MJ, maybe some players might put up diamond cards for the low because, you know, diamond MJ uh, is gone. So, uh, yeah, we're going to check it out. Diamond filter has been about the same price with the Earl Monroe and everything for so long. And it's honestly kind of crazy if you think about it. Um, honestly, this filter is obviously decent. What you should be doing right now, though, in my opinion, my favorite filter in the game is Spotlight Sim Diamond. I, pro I did release the video on it, but it probably got leaked out, and a lot of kids probably know this already. So, <sighs> yeah, um, this Spencer Dinwiddie is actually really good. I honestly think you should try sniping out Dinwiddies, and you should try sniping out Knox. Obviously, selling your cards. You got to look at their prices, though. You got to know pricing if I say sell cards. Because if you don't, you're going to take L's. I would go Diamond Knicks, bro. This night filter is money if you want to get Kevin Knox. Um, Kevin Knox is going for around 25 You could probably get him for really cheap. It's crazy how Frank is this cheap. This Frank Nila Kitina, whatever. I, I don't know how to say his name, bro. I swear. He's 9250 He's great. He has 99 defense, bro. 98 steal, 95 perimeter. I might have to throw him at shooting guard. He's 6'6". Six, six. He's a decent shooter. He probably doesn't have any range, though. He's ankle breaker. He could probably dunk. This card is freaking solid for a bunch of ballers. And honestly, trying to snipe these cards out is definitely a move, bro. You could definitely snipe out a couple of these Franks and a couple of these Noxes. Because if you guys do not know, Kevin Knox does not show up if you pop up his name. Same with Tyler Hero. A lot of these cards do not show up if you do type in his name. So that's really good to know. Yeah, man. This filter's obviously been working for a while. Also, man, if you guys want to see some snipe challenges, let me know down below. You know, if you guys are rookies, I mean, I've been sniping a ton of Opals. Obviously, I've been missing a ton. I honestly missed 90% of my snipes. I have sniped out a Caruso, an AI, and a Ben Simmons one time way back. I would say when he first came out. But yeah, those are my really only snipes in the oval filter. I've been trying. I've been missing a lot. I mean, it's kind of frustrating, but we shall see. Um, Yeah, we are going to just try to snipe some opals for you guys. We might run a stream later. Let me know if you guys are interested. But yeah, man, I'm just going to continue to say this. Sell your cards while you can. If you have mellow, if you have some of these opals, some of these opals are up a lot. And especially today, like Magic Johnson for 465. Bro, you got to sell your cards. Jamal Crawford was 150. He's now 185. Taco was 180. He's now 206. Uh, MJ is actually went up like about 100 something K. I sold my MJ like last month for 230. He's now 355. So a lot of cards are up. You know what's coming? A market crash. Something big's coming tomorrow. And it makes sense why 2K didn't drop content tomorrow. If they didn't drop, if they didn't drop content today... For a fact, something huge is 110% coming on Friday. So stay tuned for that. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. What is it? I don't think it's Flash because I think they would have dropped Super Packs. We're going to see. I'm thinking a new promo. Something's fishy with 2K. They've been awfully quiet lately. We shall see what's coming out. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit me up for MC and all that good stuff. We're doing giveaways soon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Peace.